My name is Ruchel. It's currently 6 a.m. in the morning, and today I'm going to be filming a day in my life of prepping for med interviews. Alright guys, so before I get started with talking about my day, you've probably seen from the title that I'm fortunate enough to be in the interview stage of my medical school application process right now. So a lot of my day is going to be spent prepping, but I also have a busy day in front of me. So after I leave home, I'm going to be going to university where I have a lot of some stuff to do at my lab that I work at. And during my time at the lab, I'm also going to be doing some interview prep, which you guys will get to see. After that, I'm going to head for a quick workout and then I'm going to come back to university for a quick bite. I also have a few meetings to do. Then I'm going to come home and just relax for a bit before my mock interview today at 8 p.m. So yeah, today's going to be an exciting day and let's get on with it. I'm going to be eating breakfast now. Look, I know these proteinos probably don't look the best, but they actually taste really, really good. So you guys should try them out one day and uh, yeah, you'll see for yourself. I just finished up breakfast. Now it's time to pack my bag and start my 20 minute walk to the bus stop. Guys, everything is covered in snow here. I've actually never seen it like this. So, man, this is uh, gonna be an exciting walk. All right, since I'm walking to the bus stop right now, it's probably a good time to tell you guys that it's actually reading week today. So, not gonna be seeing too many people on campus. I don't have class, so yeah. just made it to the lab now guys and uh, yeah it's really cold outside so that was uh, not the greatest but it's all right uh, so here uh, today I'm gonna be training some rats I know a bit strange but um, basically gonna be training them on some sort of bo box task yeah that should take about an hour and a half I'll probably catch you guys after I put the rats in for the first time This is the room in which I work. So basically, if you open these boxes, you'll see that there's another box inside there. The rat actually goes in this box and uh, some levers pop out of there. And they press those levers after they hear a noise. And uh, if they press the correct lever, they get a food pellet and that lands over there. Okay, I've made it back to the office area. And now I'm gonna be waiting for about half an hour before I go tend to the rats again, I switched them out. And during this half an hour, what I like to do is start on interview prep. And one of the number one things I do first thing in the morning is read. I read up on current news, current healthcare topics. And the reason I do this is because for those policy questions and for like any type of healthcare question you get, what's really important is your knowledge. For example, let's say you're able to learn a lot about virtual healthcare. I think that could be really helpful, learning some stats or some stories from the news that you could use in your interviews. So I generally use stuff like CBC News or The Healthy Debate to learn about these kinds of topics. Here's another good example of a type of article that I would normally read on this stuff. So in Ontario, there's been a recent announcement where for-profit clinics will be given more surgeries and uh, this article discusses the pros and cons of something like this. And it could be really helpful for a question that asks me about private healthcare or something like that. Okay guys, quick update. I've just put in the last batch of rats. Uh, training is going pretty smoothly today, so that's always nice to see. In terms of interview prep, I feel like uh, I've definitely learned 
a lot about medical assistance in dying specifically. It's a very important medical treatment that uh, is uh, highly debated nowadays, especially with the delay and expansion of uh, to include people with mental illnesses. It's something that could come up in my interview. That's why it's really important to go over those kinds of topics and just increase my knowledge base on them. Hi guys, I'm all done at the lab now. So I'm gonna put on my jacket and it's time to go to the gym. So I've just finished my workout. I'm gonna head back to campus now and eat my lunch. And I've got a special drink that I'm gonna be eating lunch with. So yeah, catch you guys at campus. Man, the day's shaping up to be a lot better now. The sky looks amazing. The sun's out. Where could you want? Okay, I found a nice quiet spot here at UTSC. And now I'm starving. So I'm gonna, gonna finally get to eat something. Okay, today I've got burgers. I know uh, they got a little bit smushed up on the on the way here, but I also have prime lemon lime flavor. It's not too bad, I think. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy our meal. Okay, now that I've finished lunch, I'm gonna get down to some more work. So I'm gonna start by reviewing my ABS again. So here I've compiled a list of my ABS activities and just um, writing down like, you know, why I did the activity, what I learned from it, how does it relate to can meds, and also some stories that I can think about from each activity. And this is really important because for interviews, you can draw on an infinite amount of stories to talk about in any answer. So just relating this back to your own life can be a great way to you know, personalize your answers. That's why I think it's worth reviewing your ABS as much as you can. So I'm gonna spend maybe an hour or so going over this ABS, thinking about how to refine certain stories, and then I'll meet you guys after I've done that. After going over my ABS for this session, I actually came up with some interesting stories. I remember earlier on, you know, in my fitness journey when I actually suffered from a back injury and that could relate to resilience. So that's something that's important for a healthcare professional just in terms of that professional can meds role. I encourage everyone to do this as often as you can, especially because I think it's really helpful. Now I'm done with, uh, you know, the content preparation. And now I'm actually gonna be finishing up some schoolwork. It's reading week, so that's why I'm gonna be catching up on an assignment. It's for one of my courses, and yeah, hopefully you can get it done before my meeting at three. It's currently 1.30. I will be working on that assignment until then. I'll catch you guys before my meeting. Man, it's like literally 2.45 and I'm already so tired. I don't know how I'm gonna get through the rest of this day, especially that mock interview, but uh, yeah, gonna have to do it. made it back home after the meeting and I freshened up for a bit. So now I'm gonna be doing some extra interview prep. I'm just gonna be talking and rehearsing some answers myself before my mock interview so we can make sure that one goes well. Uh, I'll just throw in a few clips of me actually practicing. 
I'll quickly walk you through how I've actually set up my interview. So basically I have a microphone here. I also have lights positioned at 45 degree angles to my face. And obviously I have my laptop in the center and everything's connected to my laptop. I normally open Zoom on my laptop to actually record myself and practice. I also have some water on the side in case I ever get thirsty. Now I'm gonna get started on my practice questions. I'm not gonna do too many, especially because I have that mock coming up and I don't want to tire myself out. So a challenging communication experience that I had personally was when I was the head assistant at Kumon, which is an instructional center designed to teach math and reading to students. Time in question was when a student came in and they were struggling a lot with simultaneous equations, a concept in mathematics that a lot of students struggle with. The one aspect of being a physician that I don't necessarily enjoy is that poor work-life balance. I know that, for example, surgeons can often have difficult work-life balances to maintain, especially because I'm the type of person that loves to spend time with friends and family, but I know that as a professional, as a healthcare professional, my patients will come first and especially I see that being a problem with being a surgeon because I know that surgeons can often work anywhere upwards from 80 hour work weeks. Now that I've finished those two questions, what's really important here is to reflect and think about where you went right and where you went wrong. I think that for these questions, the way I was speaking in terms of my pacing, I thought that it was fairly good, not too fast, not too slow. I felt that I was very energetic and engaging in the way I spoke and also I connected that that learned that communication difficulty back to medicine, which is what a lot of these interviewers do look for. I think that one problem I had was that I kept summarizing my points. I kept restating them, even though they didn't need to be restated, especially for the question in which I was asked to talk about why, like what part of being a physician I don't like, which I said work-life balance, and I felt like I restated some of those points. So now I'm gonna take a, take a bit of a breather, I'm gonna hopefully grab some dinner, before I head to my mock interview, it's currently 6.55. My mock is at 8 p.m. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you guys as soon as I get dinner. I just ordered some pizza guys, as you can see here. And we're gonna be enjoying these slices. And in about 15 minutes, I'm gonna have to join the mock interview room. So I'm gonna enjoy these and then uh, catch you guys after that. I'm ready for my mock interview. I've dressed up professionally. And yeah, hopefully this goes well. Wish me luck, guys. The mock interview is over, guys, and I think that it went really, really well. I know I, I could have improved in certain areas, but um, that's why it's a mock. Uh, my interviewer said that it actually went really well, too. They really liked it. And they also said my tell me about yourself is apparently one of the best they've ever heard. I don't know how that was possible, but it happened. So yeah, guys, uh, hit me up if you want me to gauge your tell me about yourself question. It's currently 10, 10, and I'm so exhausted already of just so much has happened in this day and that's why I'm gonna wash my face change my clothes and then just get ready for bed now it's time to wind down and go to sleep so the first thing I like to do before bed is just respond to any emails that I might not have responded to throughout the day. After that, I do a bit of journaling just to write down you know, what happened throughout the day, how I felt. I find that it's also good for interview prep actually, because it gives you the chance to talk about yourself and really just explore your feelings, which is what you do in an interview actually. And then finally, I just do a little bit of casual reading and I eventually just doze off. So that's it for the day in my life of prepping for med school interviews. I hope you guys enjoy just getting a glimpse into my life. And for those of you prepping for med school interviews, good luck. I hope you guys gain some tips on how to better prepare for med school interviews through this. And if you have your own strategies, be sure to comment them down below. Anyways, we'll see you guys next week for another Med Boys video. Oh yeah, subscribe. <laughs>